Laura Summerall, captain on the Texas A&M equestrian team with us here inside Studio 12. And uh, Laura, it's uh, kind of a, a, a fun meet coming up this Saturday as you guys uh, will, you close the regular season, so it's senior day against Oklahoma State, yet you're opening a new facility in the Hildebrand Equine Complex. Uh, just talk about some of the emotions that might go. Now, obviously, you're not a senior, but the emotions that will go into a senior day, but then also having a new facility. Oh, man. For the seniors, I can't even imagine. Um, you know, it's their last meet at home, and uh, fortunately, they get to open it and close their season, I guess, with the um, the new facility, and they're really, really excited about it. Um, I think they're a little jealous because they only get one meet, <laughs> but, you know, I would be too. I'm really I'm fortunate in the way that I get to – come next year and start my season off next year with the complex and uh, I just I'm, I'm really excited about it it's the biggest and the best that we could ever imagine it's better than anything we could have imagined and that's what I was going to ask you as you travel the country uh, you know schools are slowly adding equestrian but you get to go to a lot of these venues and facilities that are built strictly for equestrian you've been in this thing oh I guess about a month or so uh, yes, what's it like uh, what do you, how do you compare it to what you see elsewhere Oh my gosh, uh, Taj Mahal was the <laughs> the name we gave it early on, and I truly it is that it's big and beautiful and spotless, and everybody's doing a really good job, and it's by far one of the best places I've ever been. I've been to a lot of facilities in my lifetime before I came to A and M, and now that I'm in the um, collegiate equestrian, I get to look at other facilities across the nation, and ours by far there is just nothing to compare it to. We we are so truly I, blessed. I mean, it's just the best place I could imagine ever. Now, uh, you know, as a junior, you have a, kind of a neat perspective on it. You start out your career at the Expo Complex, which is a nice facility, but it's something you do have to share. What's it like to have something you can call your own with your own locker rooms, with your own barn, with your own uh, arenas and competition rings and practice everything? Well, to be honest, the best thing about it is we always know where we're going to be. We don't, there is no question as to whether we'll be on a back track, outside, in the pounding heat or if we're in the rain whether or not we're going to have to cancel practice because of bad weather now we're always guaranteed to practice we have time we have a place to go if something happens we have a way to get out of the cold or the heat or you know whatever the case may be we have a place to be that we can call home and we can use and we don't have to you know there's never a question as to oh my gosh is practice going to get rained out today because there's lightning or you know there's always a place for us to go whether no matter the case. And uh, I think probably the best thing is it's on campus too, isn't it? It makes it a lot yeah. easier to get to and from. You can definitely see <laughs> campus uh, from the complex, which is awesome. I know the Hunter Seat Ring, they they can see Kyle Field. There's um, pictures with uh, the reflection of Kyle Field from the complex, which is really neat. Um, the Western Ring, we, uh, we have the overlook of 2818 and all the fields mm -hmm. behind that, which is really cool too. So it's just a beautiful place, but being on campus two minutes from, you know, <laughs> Reed Arena is really nice. <laughs> Talk about the team's mentality going into this last meet, because I think it's one of those things that fans look at the record, they might say, oh, well, this team's not really having a good year. But every meet, you guys are just right there. You're within a point or a two, which I guess can be frustrating, but also has got to be encouraging as you head into a postseason where you look to take a, a conference championship and then go even further. Yeah, you know, um, that is just something that's been a struggle because it has been frustrating. Our record does not prove what we have. We have talent and we have skill and we have the practice times put in. And it's really just, you know, going with it. I think everybody's feeling strong. We have a little bit of a chip on our shoulder just because we have fallen by one each and every time. And, you know, that's sometimes unencouraging or but we're we're there everybody's holding tight and practicing harder and harder each and every day um the little things behind the barn like behind the scenes at the barn really play a role in things and um keeping it straight and our horses well groomed and being on time and working hard in workouts and in practice especially um being there to do what we need to do and get it done has kept everybody's mentality positive and we're working to keep it even more positive than that and finding ways to bring in things to help us get ready for this meet because we want to finish strong and open up our new complex with a win and keep it that way I believe. uh what would a big crowd to come out and watch you guys against oklahoma state it's at 11 o'clock over there on fmb row what would a big crowd mean for you all to, to open up your new facility and to, to be able to show it off to uh to the equestrian world 
You know, there there is just so much to say for that because at Georgia, our last home meet, we had a larger crowd than normal, which was really exciting, and the girls were shocked, and everybody loved it. And uh, to have that again, plus even more people than we did that day, um, would just mean the world to the girls. We have two separate rings going, so we need even more people to fill up those stands. And the the more the merrier and the louder it is, the even better. We, we love it. All right, well, appreciate the time, and good luck on Saturday. Oh, well, thank you, sir. All right, that's Laura Sumrall, the Aggies, in action Saturday at 11 a.m. It's the home finale, but the opening of the Hildebrand Equine Complex. Hope to see everybody out there. It's at F&B Road and 2818, just on the northwest side of campus.